Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Matt from snoocentral.org and snoostv.com. And if you're tired of the same mint flavors in your rotation, I have a new one for you. Today on snoostv.com, we're going to be taking a look at you sample number seven, Sweet Mint by AG Snooze. This is a fantastic offering, guys. Something that, you know, I wasn't expecting, but I like it. First, let's take a look at the can, let's look at the portions, then we'll talk about the flavor profile and the full review. <laughs> Taking a look at the U sample number seven, Sweet Mint from AG Snooze, you can tell that this is something unique and different in the styling department. It has an all silver can with a nice green bluish type fonts on the top of the catch lid with a giant U. Now if something really wants to stand out, put a giant U on your can. That's all I gotta say. But other than that, I really like the styling. It's simple, but eye-catching and unique. You have the four out of five dots in the slim there, designating not only that it's a slim portion, but a strong portion as well. And then strong white, if uh, that really didn't give away anything else. And then on sample number seven, I'm not really sure where that came from. Um, if AJ Snooze wants to chime in on this video and let me know, that'd be great. But I couldn't really find anything on the sample number seven portion of this uh, description here. On the side of the can, you get the U sample number seven, sweet mint, slim four out of five dots. Again, designating that it's a strong category or extra strong. And the dumb warning label, which I hope is overturned soon. And again, with the sweet mint, slim, strong white. That's pretty much it, guys. Another thing I want to mention too, underneath this giant catch lid, which I absolutely love, is the AG logo. And I think that's a really nice touch. A lot more companies should really incorporate this into their can designs. It's really cool. Opening this uh, can up and taking a look at the portions. Get a white portion format, which is slim, very comfortable and soft to the touch. Really nice and easy to uh, use all day, every day, especially if you like white portions. Now you get 24 portions per can on this one and a full tobacco gram weight of 16.8 grams of snus total, guys. So there's a lot, a lot of snus in this can. Definitely well worth the price you're gonna pay for this stuff. Which, uh, you know, it's right around that premium price point. But, you know, for the flavor and the portion material and everything, I think it's definitely well worth it. So, let's take a look at the flavor profile. Flavor profile on you sample number seven, Sweet Mint by AG Snooze, is different. And I know what you guys are screaming at your phones, tablets, and computer screens. I know, guys. I can hear it from here. Matt, it's a mint snooze. What makes this different from any other mint snooze that's on the market? Well, I gotta say, the flavor profile makes it different. Who knew, right? The flavor profile on this guy, as soon as you pop it in, you're gonna get a nice balance of peppermint, spearmint, menthol, and vanilla. Now, the vanilla and the spearmint really play off each other really nicely to make a sweet experience that's really uh, not too intense. A lot of these mint snooses on the market can be a little bit intense at time with a really bad burn. And the peppermint is gonna be in the background. So really the coolness out of this is the menthol and the peppermint. The sweetness is the spearmint and vanilla. The vanilla is not too sweet. It's just at that perfect, you know, right there at that perfect balance with that spearmint to add a sweetness to this mentholated mint character that's in the snooze. There's really no tobacco that I could pick up on this at all. Um, that's one of the things that I like from G3 Volt over U sample number seven is that you do get some cedar tones and tobacco tones in Volt that you don't get here in U sample number seven. If you like more of a mentholated sweet mint character, that's where you go with the U sample number seven. I like this a little bit better in a way than G3 Volt because of the sweet mint character in here. I like G3 Volt if I want more of tobacco with my mint flavor. The waters of 
mint flavors on the market are really different. Um, there is so many out there that really make it hard to choose. I, what I will say about you sample number seven is if you want something that is not going to over nick you but still give you really good flavor complexity, that's where you want to get some of this stuff. If you want something a little bit stronger, that's where I would say Volt. So that's where I would really categorize these two snooses. This is good if you want something complex but not super strong to our G3 Volt. Get that if you want something super strong. Good? We on the same page? I hope so. Nicotine strength on this guy is sitting at a 1.7%, so it's not going to over nick you. It's a little bit stronger than some of your extra stocks that are on the market, but not by much. You're still going to notice a little bit of a kick there, but it's going to be manageable. If you're a, you know, a snooze user that uses snooze all the time and varies uh, between nicotine strengths, it's not really going to over nick you. If you're used to Siberia all the time, this is really not going to feel enough, so you might want to pop two of these in. But if you're an average snooze user that's body is not made out of 90% nicotine, again, like the people that use Siberia, you're going to feel a, you know, a plent plenty of nicotine strength out of this guy. So it's really good, guys. Uh, nicotine longevity on this one, really, it's going to peak out at about the five minute mark. So you don't have to worry about um, being over nicked all at once. It's going to peak at that five minute mark and you'll start to notice the nicotine release about one minute, one minute 30 into the experience. So really good. Uh, flavor longevity on this guy is going to last you a good 30 to 45 minutes in the upper lip. And really, uh, for a white portion, that's great. I will say though, um, once you have it in for about 30 minutes, the flavors will get a little bit bitter, so keep that in mind. Um, you can stretch it out to that 45 minute, maybe an hour mark, but I gotta say it will get a little bit bitter. I don't know if it's because of the complexity of the flavors there that makes it bitter, but it does. It's just something you have to be aware of. Final conclusions on this snooze is really I like it a lot. I would get this if I want something a little bit stronger for a mint flavor with a little bit more complexity. So in that respect, if you're looking for a strong mint snooze with complexity and not something boring, you sample number seven is your snooze. It does get bitter, but the portions are soft, the nicotine strength is spot on, and the flavor is complex. So I recommend it. Will I keep it in my rotation? No. But I will sneak it in from time to time. So that's my thoughts on it, guys. Let me know what you thought of U-Sample number seven down in the comments below if you enjoyed it as much as I have or if you like it more. If you, pour mo if you pull more flavors out of this snooze, let me know as well. I like it a lot, guys. So if you want to stay connected in the world of Swedish snooze, be sure to check out none other than snoozecentral.org for the latest articles my friend Larry Waters wrote and for the gold mine of information we have over there, guys. It is definitely an awesome place to visit if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to check out our Facebook and Instagram page for quick hits of information along the day, newest stuff that's in the uh, world of snooze, as well as some cool pictures on snoozecentral.org uh, uh, Instagram page. So be sure to check that out. So, I like it, and I think you will as well. Until next time, guys, you know the drill. Enjoy good snooze. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.